What is the most important thing about buying a house? Is it the area, the finishes, the price, the location? The most important thing about buying a house is finding the right house at the right price. Just because you're approved for a maximum loan amount doesn't mean you can afford the monthly payments that go with it. With the rising interest rates in today's market, many people buy the property they fall in love with and then get frustrated when they receive their first mortgage payment. Just the other day, I had a client tell me about their first home purchase experience. They went out to get a mortgage pre-approval. Then when they went house hunting, they found a house, they put an offer, it got accepted. They did an inspection just to find out two months later when they moved in that there was a broken fridge and a broken dishwasher. They now had to spend unexpected money. We're talking about thousands of dollars in unexpected costs just so they can buy new appliances. You know what the old saying is, you should always inspect before you expect. They did an inspection with an inexperienced inspector who just glanced at the appliances and didn't detect the apparent issues which caused them unnecessary headache. This is why we follow a buyer plan to cover all the grounds of buying a house that you not only fall in love with, but have the funds to enjoy as well. I remember when I was buying my first property, I was overwhelmed with all the information out there. So this time I put together a buyer guide that walks you through the entire process step by step so you have the smoothest experience possible. I also threw in a buyer checklist and some preferred vendors so you know exactly how to take that first step. You can find the link in the description below. Here are the five main points to consider. Getting a pre-approval for your mortgage, assemble your home buying team, know your players, put your offer in writing, conditions and paperwork, and last but not least, closing. Getting pre-approved. When you decide to buy an item, what is the first thing that comes to mind? How much does it cost? In real estate, in order to determine what a home costs, we need to speak to a mortgage agent, unless you're buying the home cash. Now I know what you're thinking, wouldn't I need to look at some options first to determine what I wanna buy? You're absolutely right. However, wouldn't it be a waste of time looking at homes that don't fall in your budget or falling in love with a house and getting excited just to find out it's out of your range? A mortgage agent looks at your finances and advises the expenses after looking at your income and debt. Now you know exactly what a home would cost if it falls in your budget. Assemble your home buying team. The home buying process comes with multiple steps, participating parties, and potential obstacles that can be overcame with the right team by your side. Your appraiser, home inspector, insurance agent, lending company, and of course, your real estate agent are all important pieces to the puzzle. Buying a new home is literally a team sport. There are so many important timelines, tasks, documentations, and responsibilities that need attention immediately. Besides working with a professional team that you trust, it's important that these individual players have the ability to effectively communicate and execute on decisions together. The good news is that the role of a realtor is to be the glue between all the parties. What I mean by that is we as realtors are required to facilitate the transaction. This is why it always helps to take the realtor's recommendations on who the team players of the home buying process should be. This is not mandatory and your realtor can work with any professional, but it does help to have the whole team work in harmony. Searching for homes. There are many platforms that display homes for sale, but I can't stress on how inaccurate they can be. Here are some of the most common things that I've noticed my clients send me from these websites. Properties with inaccurate or incomplete information, homes that are sold and not updated online, properties that are expecting well over the list price, or properties that just don't exist and listed as clickbait so you can call the real estate agent. This is where your realtor can step in and provide you with the most up-to-date information of properties that are just listed, coming soon, and recently price change. For investors, they can share distressed homes, fixer-uppers, rental properties that can demand high rents. Once you select some homes you like, your realtor will share with you neighborhoods to avoid, homes that fall in your range, low-rated school areas, high-rated crime areas, demographics, renovation costs, maintenance concerns, etc. These are all important factors that help increase the value of your potential home.
Once you find a home that you fall in love with, it's time to make an offer. A good agent always does these three things to negotiate a good deal and protect the client's best interest. Good communication with the listing agent. A thorough analysis of the sales in the area. Find the motivation of the seller, like a quick closing, purchased another property and has to move, downsizing or upsizing due to personal reasons, etc. I remember negotiating a deal with a seller where the seller had tenants living in the property and they were a headache to deal with and show the property. Our client saw the home and saw potential but wanted to move in. Now by law, the sellers are allowed to evict the tenants if the new homeowners are moving into the property. So we offered a lowball offer and demanded vacant possession. Lo and behold, the sellers did accept the offer and we got a great deal on this home. Happy sellers and happy buyers. Once we receive an accepted offer, the due diligence phase starts. A series of timelines like the mortgage approval, inspection, appraisal, and other requirements that would be stated in the contract. Once the conditions on the offers are fulfilled, it comes in from all angles at this point. The insurance agents, lenders, processors, sellers, and real estate agent all have to meet the same timelines to ensure a smooth closing. Closing. A good realtor always schedules a visit right before the closing date to ensure the property is kept in the same shape and nothing is missing as the first time we saw it. This can also be used as a time to take measurements for your furniture as well. Your mortgage agent or bank will send the financing instructions to the lawyer directly. Your lawyer will then call you in to sign the final paperwork and receive the down payment. You are required to acquire home insurance effective on closing date. You may also need to set up new utility accounts and your lawyer can help you with that as well. And then on closing date, voila, you're a proud homeowner. If you like this type of educational content, please like and subscribe below. I would highly appreciate it. I do post a video every two weeks and I will know what type of videos you find useful. If you're thinking of buying a property in the near future, click on the link below for the free buying guide. It will save you a ton of time, money and hassle. Until next time, we provide results that move you.